The One Academy is the heart of our company. Cryptocurrency is not an easy product. It's a very innovative product based on technology and based on very, very complex concepts. For us to be part of this financial revolution, to be part of cryptocurrency and of a community, we need to understand exactly what we do and what we talk about. And this is why we have the One Academy. The One Academy provides you with concepts, provides you with explanation on cryptocurrency and on the financial world. I would encourage everybody to join the courses, to do the certificates and to understand thoroughly how to use cryptocurrency, what cryptocurrency is and how we can change the world by using cryptocurrency. One Academy. Learn today, lead tomorrow. So welcome and good morning everyone. I'm going to take the call today and I'm continue from where we left off on Monday. We are continuing and remember the whole idea is that we are actually laying the foundation. We dealt with the mindset the first week and we are actually taking it from the very beginning. So I'm just going to do a little um, summary of where we ended last week um, on Monday. Where the bottom line where we were asking why. Why is it we were asking the question why? Why we need financial literacy? Well, I'm reminding you that it helps you plan for the future. Financial literacy helps you to meet your financial goals. It helps you through times of financial hardship. Helps you get the most of your income. It helps you move from surviving to thriving. And it can improve many areas of your of areas of your life with regards to relationships, careers, hobbies, and your home life. And I want to let you know that I speak from experience when all these why are answered as to why we need financial literacy. Provide life skills for young people to use as adults. And I personally like this one because I believe in training um, children from infancy and this, if we give our young people the right skill set with regards to financial literacy from an early age, guess what? They would have, well, they would be in a better position to um, be better in their future decisions when money is concerned. So today we are going into smart goal setting. And this is, this is important because sometimes when we speak to people, you know, they, they sometimes have never really sat and put together what goals they would like to achieve it. And, you know, most people tells you, tell you to write down your goals. So let's start with smart goal setting. Some of you may have heard this information already, but it's good to remind you because have you done it? Have you really sat down and um, follow the advice that you would have heard or learned so many years ago or a month ago, whatever that period is? So let's look at each goal and evaluate it. Make any changes necessary to ensure it meets the criteria for a SMART goal. And this is the part that I'm saying that you may know. So what am I saying when SMART? Well, you need to be specific. You need to be measurable. Have measurable goals. It must be attainable. It must be realistic and it has to have time, time set, time bound. And the reason for this is to ensure that your roadmap, your financial roadmap, just as your business roadmap, your life, every part of it is being achieved, your goals. So let's look at it in a little bit more detail. Specific, what do I mean? What are you going to do? Use action words such as direct, Organize, coordinate, lead, develop, plan, build. Words that will actually have you thinking of what your goals are. Why is this important to do at this time when you're thinking of a goal? Why do you ultimately wish to accomplish this? With me, I wanted to accomplish a home. And why? It's for living, it's for building a family, it's, a, it's a, for protection. Why is this important to do at this time? How are you going to do it? How? By how? The methods. Then we move on to measurable. 
what, what are we saying about measurable? If you can't measure it, you cannot manage it. You can't manage it. So you choose a goal with measurable progress so you can see the change occur, so that you can see the change occur. How will you know when you reach your goal? It's because of you being specific and you know when you reach it, you would, you would be checking along the way. Establish con concrete criteria for measuring progress towards the attainment of your goal of each one. Attainable, the next, the next letter in SMART. When you identify the goals, when you identify the goals that are most important to you, you can figure out ways to make them come true. Right? That, that, that is simple. Goals you set which are too far out of your reach, you probably won't commit to. So it has to be attainable, not far-fetched. Most times people say they would love to um, buy a home, but buy a home and, and you know, they have never really thought of what and if they have given timelines and, and you know, price and so forth. And you will see that as we go on. A goal needs to stretch you slightly. So it needs to stretch, stretch you. So you feel you can do it and it would need a real commitment from you. And that's why we say write it down. That's why we say have it in front of you. That's why we remind you to keep checking as the process goes by. Realistic. This is not a synonym for easy, but it means really doable. Is it a realistic, really? Is it real? You know, one of the things um, I'm learning is that um, we sometimes just say we wish for certain things, but is it really in our mindset or our ability to achieve it? So doable, right? A realistic project may push the skills and knowledge of the people working on it, but it shouldn't break them. So it should push us, but it wouldn't break us. So this is being realistic. Be sure to set goals that you can attain with some effort. And then time bound. Time bound has to do with setting a time frame for the goal. Setting a time frame for the goal. If you don't define a time, the commitment is too fake. So you need to set so that you could review. It doesn't mean you have to attain it at the particular time. There may be obstacles. There may be certain things that really prevent you from achieving it at this time. But it is, some to, it is a starting point to review. Well, it comes like a starting point to review to continue moving. Time must be measurable, attainable, and realistic. So when we speak to individuals and, and if um, you ask them for your goals, we normally divide it up into short, medium, and long term. Where short may be maybe within the year, another one will be in two years or three to five years. You decide which is now, which is attainable now, and that becomes your short term goal, medium term, and long term. So, the next step in the process of having the right. Um, um, mindset in moving in proper financial planning is visualization. Before we can believe in a goal, we first must have an idea of what it looks like, of what it looks like. So, for example, with the, with the home, visualization is a technique for creating a mental image of future events, a mental image for future events. It is a well-developed method of performance improvement supported by substantial scientific evidence and used by. Okay? There are two types of visualization, each with a distinct purpose, but for the greatest effect, they should be used together. So the first is the outcome, then the process, and then the visualization. Outcome visualization. It involves envisioning yourself achieving the goal. So you have to actually put yourself as if you already achieve it. It's like you're there already. To do this, create a detailed mental 
image of the desired outcome using all your senses. Process visualization involves envisioning each of the actions necessary to achieve the outcome you want. To do this, focus on completing each of the steps you need to achieve your goal, but not on the overall goal itself. And the third, visualization, when combined with diligent effort, it is a powerful way to achieve positive behavioral change and create the life you desire. So I'll, I'll go in a little bit into that visualization. Um, when, you, when you ask someone, um, what would you like as a long-term goal? Most people sometimes say they would like to achieve a home. Okay, so a home. Have you considered what the home would look like? Have you seen the living room? Do you know how many bedrooms in the bathroom? What tile work? What everything? It must be like there. And that is where um, graphic designers actually come in now, where they actually do the rendering of homes and so forth, because they're actually bringing it to life to you. And that is what visualization is actually doing, in that you have the picture in your mind already. You already know cost and you know, everything. People just broadly say they would like to achieve a home. And achieving a home is, having a goal is a great thing. But going further in that you can actually smell the, the flooring or the paint when you walk in the home, everything. It helps in actually achieving it. And then we have the next step of creating that vision board. And creating a vision board is probably one of the most valuable tools you'll ever have. Um, it serves as your image of the future, a tangible representation of where you are going. So the very same thing I was just telling you is, is you could actually put it and have it in front of you. And this is what this part is about, right? Um, if you see it, you can believe it and you can achieve it as that picture says there. Representing your goals with pictures and images, you strengthen and stimulate your emotions. Last week, I remembered, um, on Monday, I, was re I remembered saying that because of um, being in the sales environment, how when we wanted to achieve a certain target, we packed our suitcases and we went to the airport. A daily routine. A daily routine. Because we were seeing ourselves being at the counter to... And, and it may sound comical, and it may sound really silly to some, but guess what? Just by putting the pictures and the food and understanding the culture and you're bringing that in front of you, goals and targets were met. So how do we create this vision board? Find pictures that represent or symbolizes the experience, feelings, and possessions you want to attract to place it on this board. Consider including a picture of yourself, of yourself, a happy moment, a happy moment. Post your affirmations, inspirational words, quotations, and thoughts. Keep it neat and be selective about what you place on it. Use only words and images that best represent your purpose your ideal future and your and that inspires positive emotions in you. Now, creating this vision board may seem not valid to some, but I want to tell you that um, Dr. Ruja, our founder, in her book, Learning for Profit, these points are taken from here. And she was the first person in all my years of financial training and, you know, you keep hearing the same thing. This is the first time I actually followed the vision board process. And the reason for this is because what the manner in which she started with the mindset and how we had to, it's just the words in her book. It really inspired us to actually do it. And I want to let you know, I wish I was close by to show you my vision board and maybe that's what I should have taken a picture of to show you what we did. And, you know, we just had it up and every morning we would see it. We get up to pray, we would see it. We, we, we walk in out the door, we would see it where it is positioned. 
and it had just what we are saying here, where you put pictures of yourself, you have affirmation, inspirational words, whatever. And in doing this presentation with Ivan, in, I am seeing him prepare it. I am remembering the process we did to put it up. And today I could tell you, we actually achieved most, uh, if not all, of it without even um, realizing it. Like, you know, like you're going back and you realize that, wait, you mean this happened? You mean that happened? And you know, it was an easy process. And that's what we are saying, to make it something that becomes easy for you to follow, right? How to use your vision board. And we're going into more details on it. I just was giving you my experience. Leave your vision board, and this is exactly what I said I did. Leave your vision board in an open position as often as you are comfortable with. Spending morning and evenings visualizing, affirming, believing, and internalizing your goals. This is important. Then, as time goes by and your dreams begin to manifest, feel gratitude for how well the law of attraction is working in your life. Acknowledge it is working. And I just did the same openly to you all. So all across the Caribbean, all around the world, whoever is hearing my voice, this actually works. Don't remove the pictures that represent your goals you have already achieved. So we have not. Misconception of time. A major obstacle that prevents people from actually enjoying, um, from enjoyably achieving their goals is that they set their goals incorrectly to begin with. When people consider a particular goal, they often worry about time commitment. We tend to think of time as a source that we spend. This is an inaccurate way to think about time. You cannot spend time. Time spends itself. And this was like an awakening for me when I heard this point written in the book and I saw it. Time spends itself. We all think we have to commit and spend one hour on something. So I'm going to study today. I'm going to give one hour to it studying. Really and truly. Time will go whether or not you do the actual commitment or you actually carry it out. So time spends itself. We have no control of it. You are never in the past or future. You exist only in the present moment. So you're never in the past or the future. You exist only in the present. What happens is our past will actually help us to so, how I should say, it makes us who we are present. Yes, experiences, whatever. But you are always only in the present. The purpose of goal setting isn't to control the future, but to improve the quality of your present moment reality. Whenever you set a goal, always ask yourself, how does setting this goal improve my present reality? How does it improve my present reality? If it doesn't improve my present reality, then the goal is pointless. Think about some goals you might have set. Think about it. If not for the imagery, imaginary obstacles you focus on. Stop imagining doom and gloom on the path to get there, but how each can improve your present reality. Eventually, you will feel motivated to take action and at the same time, attract resources. So um, Ivan is here. I just want to ask him if he would like to add anything to this slide at this time. Um, I think that... What is taking place is that Michelle has said a lot, but this misconception of time is a serious one because what they're literally saying is that there's no past really. All you have is the future and if the perception that you have of yourself is actually a past perception. 
um, that could change in the present. So that is why having a vision board is literally a must if you want to achieve anything because what it does, it actually pro, pro, um, it gives you an image of future events, what you want to look like in the future, not the past. Um, I think what happened, we had played a video sometime where they were saying that, you know, when you get up on a morning, you more or less visit the old self. You get up with the same old problems. You um, look at your WhatsApp with the same old people. So all of that is in the past. So therefore, if you do that, you will now be making the past all over in the future. And we don't want that. So this is an important, important point. If you want to achieve anything, that you must have the right perception of time. And literally, they're saying that time spends itself, and that is so true. The only thing that you could do is set goals within that time, what you want to achieve within the space of the time, not managing time, managing the actual product of the time. So I think that's, that's very important. So with that comment from Ivan, yes, and that addition, I will end my presentation here today. Remember, on a Monday and a Tuesday, we are actually having follow-up, so it's important that you keep reminding um, yourself or remembering where we stopped or where we stopped. So I am going to introduce um, one of um, our merchants, one of our featured merchants. Actually, in our new program for this 2021 Academy session, the Zoom, we be in the heart of the company. We believe One Academy as the heart of the company feeds everyone or every other aspect of it. So we have the community, we have our deal shaker platform, our deal shaker um, e-commerce platform, which I refer to as the new economy. And if you understand how it works, you would know you can live in the both, the one that you're living in right now and the future one. And we also have one for it. So we believe as a heart, we feed each area in this ecosystem. With that being said, we have a new segment, which is we are featuring the merchant of the day. And this today was actually sponsored by our featured merchant, Incredible Products. And we would like to introduce you to the owner and the founder of Incredible Products, Mrs. Sharon. Miss Sharon Ali. So I would pass it on to Sharon. Sharon, are you there? Yes, I am. Thank you very much, Ivan, Michelle, Muriel. Great presentation. Good day, fellow One Lifers. I am Incredible Products. My name is Sharon. And many of you know me as a distributor for Total Life Changes products. But today I want to introduce you to my service line in media. And um, in case you're wondering, this is actually my forte. This is my profession. So here are my deals. Um, I want to share my screen here. At Incredible Products, we work and partner with you to realize your dreams. We want to partner with you to build your, your brand and also your customer experience. So we want to start today with introducing the documentary script. You can pay with 18% in points. It is uniquely costed. You will not get that cost in anywhere else. We have a script mm -hmm. breakdown as well. In case you have already gone that step and have your script, we can break it down and take you further in realizing your dream. We can offer a full script for a film. For those of you who have always dreamt of having a film done on a specific topic, we can take you one step further by helping you realize that dream on paper. We also offer 30 second ads and it is costed to be as reasonable as possible, 50% in one coin. We can do staff training to help you build your brand and your customer experience. The same logistics that I use for producing film and television are also used for producing events. In fact, it, producing film and television involves producing events and putting it on screen. 
So we thought we would extend it further to, to offer events management with 40% in one coin. We can offer administrative services to those of you who always need that extra hand for just one day or two days, depending on what your, need, your needs are. All things media and marketing, we offer business development at 50% in one coin. And we offer marketing strategies with 50% as well. I wanna thank you all for having me today. And remember, I am Incredible Products. You can call me at 360-2580. And coming soon will be deals on book editing, book publishing, and website design. Over to you, Michelle. Thank you very much. And I now hand over this call to our host, Muriel Azamo. Thank you.